Hey guys, how's it going? It's Toby here. Welcome back to a brand new video here on my channel. Welcome to draft day number four. And I absolutely love this series. We get a 3 5 2 formation and we get Alan Shearer as our captain, which is so good. I haven't used any legends in FIFA 16. Now, if you do need to get some coins, check out fifacoin.com. Use the code TOBY5 at checkout for 5% off. Very fast delivery on all consoles. Or if you prefer some MSPs and PSN codes, very cheap games, check out g2a.com. Also in the description, TBY3, we get you some money off there, but it is where I get all of my MSP from, which is always nice. So let's have a little chat about what we're doing and how things have gone so far. So we have Valbuena, we have Griezmann, we have Shearer, we have a pretty strong defense with David Luiz, and I could not choose between Robin or Bale. I go for Bale simply because we had some links for him. And we're going to go with Casilla because I think he's such a drastically better keeper than Tostegan. Then our next keeper draft is really poor. You get Kurt Zuma here as well. Easy choice there. But so far, very nice. 89 chemistry. And that's only with like the main starting level. We haven't even got the subs yet. And one thing I want to want to mention, I really think that it should detect what formation you're using and what formation you've picked and not allow you to have right backs and left backs if you've picked a 3-5-2 or just generally any positions that aren't in that formation. I think it'd be quite good. I think it would be quite a decent improvement and decent change to have generally in foot draft. I think it'd be really good. So we get storage, which is excellent. Then we get Andre, simply because I think he's going to be a really good sentiment. And then we get Messi. 94 rated right wing Messi, which is absolutely phenomenal. I haven't used him at all on this game yet. So I was super, super excited. And I pick Hector Bellerin. I, I don't know why. I, I completely forgot that we didn't have right backs. Nonetheless, the team is looking awesome. I'm going to do some switching around and messing about and see if we can get some pretty good chemistry. But as it stands, we're on 98. I'm going to throw in the informed Ben Arthur. At centre attacking mid, this card was incredible. It was so, so good. We're also going to go with the Welsh manager just to give Bale a tiny little bit more. Because he's on seven at the moment. And I was um and ah in what to do. But the French players, they were all on ten chemistry anyway because they had so many links. Bale was on seven. So now he's on eight, which is excellent. And this is our first opponent in draft mode in form, Ronaldo. And that really, really good cheap left winger from the BBVA that a lot of people have been using. He's really, really decent. Ball goes up in the air, falls back down to Inigo Martinez and he gets the ball into the back of the net. I have no idea what he was doing on the edge of the box. Nonetheless, I'm not complaining until Daniel Sturridge takes the ball off to Messi who we did in fact sub on and he gets an easy goal into the back of the net. This first game is going swimmingly. 3-0 up now from a corner. And I find corner headers to be quite rare. Like They don't often go in for me. Now, Sturridge here goes on an absolute rampage. I just, I was struggling to find space. I was like, you know what? I'm just going to ball roll. I'm going to roll roll past him and see what I can do. Ball in the back of the net. Easy as you like. And that forces him to rage quit. Now, rage quits on foot draft are actually pretty rare. In my experience anyway. Because this person has spent either 15,000 coins or 300 FIFA points to play this foot draft. And you've annoyed them that much <laughs> that they've quit out and pretty much discarded or just lost that 15k or 300 FIFA points or whatever. Nonetheless, we win 4-0 and this is our second opponent, Jackson Martinez, Neymar, De Bruyne, an amazing team. And this guy was really tough to break down at the start. We laid the ball off to Alan Shearer. Does a nice bit of step overs and smacks it into the back of the net. I tell you what, Alan Shearer, whilst I did sub him off a couple of times, was exceptional. And the only reason I really subbed him off was for fitness reasons. That was a sublime finish from him. And this game was really, really tough. Probably one of the most difficult ones. I, just, I couldn't ever do anything but Messi gets straight through here and I was so so lucky a lovely little finish to give us back the lead which I was really really struggling to get probably a little bit lucky he may have 
may have should have had that, to be honest. I, I probably shouldn't have won that game, but we did. And the next opponent in our draft mode, number three, is going to be a really, really nice team in a 4-3-1-2 formation. But Shearer gets things off to a bang with a beauty of a free kick. And I, I, like I said before, he's actually really, really good. The pace isn't a problem. The only times I ever subbed him off was for fitness reasons. He seems to get knackered very, very quickly. And then I just sub him off for Messi, which is a pretty good replacement. Ben Alpha getting a lovely little goal there to put us 2-0 up in this game here. And this one was tough. I managed to throw it a little bit there and give him a very easy goal. But Shearer, his positioning, man, is so, so good. I just take things slow, work around the keeper, guarantee myself an extra goal, which is always nice. I bring on... Kurt Zuma for our centre defence mid. I know it sounds strange, but it works very well. Messi gets our fourth goal with a lovely driven pass across the box, giving us our third win of our draft mode. We're in the final, boys. It has happened. Now, last week, last draft day, number three, we managed to win. Can we win two draft modes back-to-back -back in two weeks? It would be amazing. I do this series once a week. This guy was a phenomenal opponent. Like, his defending was so good. His pressure was ridiculous. I could not do anything, but Ben Arthur is straight through here. We're here, trying to get past this player. Lovely McGeady spin, and then finesses it into the back of the net to give us the lead. And seriously, this was so, so difficult. David Luiz tries to get a shot off, but the pressure was just so much. I almost, almost get something through here with Messi. I probably should have done so much better to get a... A nice cushion lead there, but I, I couldn't do it. I was really, really struggling. This guy was piling on the pressure. And an amazing, amazing clearance. That probably should have gone in and was very, very close. Neymar here. That is an amazing save. 90th minute. Our keeper saves the day. It finishes 1-0. We win the draft for the second week in a row. Back-to-back -back draft wins. I'm ecstatic. I might have maybe not meant to win that game but I did I held on I managed to keep my call and keep the defense going Casilla doing a fantastic job getting us the victory as well saving so many critical shots but four wins boys we managed to get our prize we get a gold pack which is 5k and a rare players pack which I'm pretty sure is the 50,000 coin pack so I'm not complaining about that at all that is really really nice nothing in the gold pack but in our rare players pack we do get some players like Clichy we get Mika Richards we also get some fairly decent players, nothing amazing, but they do sell for a few thousand coins. So I'm not going to complain at all. Definitely worth the draft mode spend, in my opinion. I really, really love this series. So if you do enjoy it, leave it a like. And if you have and want to see more, definitely drop a subscription if you want to see any more videos from myself. But take it, guys. Have an amazing day and goodbye.